السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ای سی ایل ایزی کمپیوٹنگ لیکچرس اوکے ٹو ڈے وی ول ٹیک آر ٹاپک فرام ڈیٹا مائننگ سیریز وچ از کلسٹرنگ اینڈ انٹروڈکشن بفور گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈے لیکچرس پلیز لائک شیئر اینڈ سبسکرائب ٹو دس چینل فار مور ویڈیوز تھینک یو ان ٹو ڈے لیکچرس وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا کلسٹرنگ اینڈ وی ول سی دا different definitions of clustering with a suitable example after that we will talk about the different types of clustering and moving forward we will talk about the different clustering algorithms or models in the previous lectures we have discussed the different types of classification algorithm such as knn nave based decision trees and single layer neural network in the coming lectures we will talk about the different types of clustering algorithms as well now we will have a look on the different definitions of clustering first the method of identifying similar groups of data in a data set is called clustering in other context clustering is the task of dividing the population or data points into a number of groups such that data points in the same groups are more similar to the other data points in the same group than those in the other groups if we conclude both these definitions so in simple words we can say that the aim is to segregate groups with similar traits and assign them into clusters which is known as clustering okay now let's understand the clustering with a suitable example suppose that i am a head of a rental store and i wish to understand the preferences of my customers and i want to enhance my business so is it possible for me to look at details of each customer and devise a unique business strategy for each one of them definitely not so what i have to do what i will do i will make a groups of customers based on their purchasing habits and after that use a separate strategy for customers in each of these 10 groups and which is known as clustering okay now let's talk about the different types of clustering clustering can be divided into two subgroups one is known as hard clustering and the other one is soft clustering what is hard clustering in hard clustering each data point either belongs to a cluster completely or not for example in the above example that we have already discussed each customer is put into one group out of the 10 group it means that if we are checking the behavior of our customers so we will put that customer into any of the groups completely in the soft clustering instead of putting each data point into a separate cluster a probability or likelihood of that data point to be in those cluster is assigned from the previous example each customer is assigned a probability to be in either of 10 clusters of the retail store that is called soft clustering assalamu alaikum welcome to ecl easy computing lectures okay today we will take a topic from data mining series which is clustering and introduction before going to start today lectures please like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you
Connectivity model follow the two approaches. In first approach, they start with classifying all data points into separate cluster and then aggregate them as a distance decrease. And in the second approach, all data points are classified as a single cluster and the partition partition as a distance increase. So but there is a disadvantage of this method because it lacks of scalability for handling the big data set. So the examples of these models are hierarchical clustering algorithm and its variants. In the coming lectures, inshallah, we will take some examples of hierarchical clustering algorithms. The second type of clustering algorithms are centroid models. These models are iterative clustering algorithms in which the notion of the similarity is derived by the closeness of a data point. The best example of centroid models are k-mean clustering, which is very known and popular algorithm that falls in this category. And in the coming lectures, inshallah, we will talk about the k-mean cluster. In k-mean clustering, the number of clusters required at the end have to be mentioned beforehand, which make it important to have prior knowledge of the dataset. These models run iteratively to find the local optima. Okay, now let's understand the clustering with a suitable example. Suppose that I am a head of a rental store and I wish to understand the preferences of my customers and I want to enhance my business. So is it possible for me to look at details of each customer and devise a unique business strategy for each one of them definitely not so what i have to do in the different types of clustering models the last one is density model these models search the data space for areas of very density of data points it isolate various different density regions and assign the data points within these regions in the same cluster the best example of density models are DB scan and optics. Okay, if we conclude our total lectures, so we have seen the different definitions of clustering. After that, we have seen the different types of clustering, and after that, we have discussed the different types of clustering algorithm like in the previous lectures we have talked about the different algorithms of classification i hope that you understand this lecture please like share and subscribe this channel for more videos thank you